Hello friends, in this video, I want to show us how to interact with the MetaMax wallet on your mobile phone. Before now, MetaMax was only available on the laptop where you have to add it as an extension. So, um, and it's not very convenient that way, seeing that most people don't um, have a laptop and most people would prefer using a phone to um, do most of their crypto transaction and trading than um, the day-to-day -day, um, usage of the laptop. So, you ca it is, it's not possible for you to interact with MetaMask using your phone without downloading the app directly on Google Play Store. Now, the app on Google Play Store, that is the MetaMask app on Google Play Store, does not display the whole interface for you there are limitations to it so it is better you use the web extension wallet that is the metamap web extension wallet which is compatible on the laptop and now there is an option for it is possible now for you to have it on your phone and not many people know about it, but I will be showing us in this video how to go about it. So now, the first thing you want to do, you want to download a browser called Kiwi. So this browser is on Google Play Store. Once you go to Google Play Store, type the word Kiwi, then you download it. Click the download button for it to open for you and download for you. So after downloading the wallet, the browser sorry you open it once opened you click on the url to type the word metamask extension so once type noun you you click the first option now be mindful of the options you click because once you type it's just like you are browsing your normal browsing once you type a once you type to search for a particular thing on the internet, there are different options that will display for you. But this particular MetaMask extension, the option to click is the first one. And the first one, after clicking the first option, if it does not display like this as you are seeing on your screen now, it then means you are on the wrong website. And the danger of it is that um, after downloading it you may not be aware that uh, maybe you have downloaded a virus maybe a keystroke virus with it that will be able to steal your information so be mindful of the link to click sorry then after clicking the first link now and it display an interface for you like this you click on the add option the add option now is directly beneath your email address. So you, you can see it on the screen now at the top um, right side of my phone. So I'll click on it. Then um, I have to click OK. I'll wait for it to download. The check-in you are seeing on your screen now is downloading the wallet for me. So, having downloaded the wallet, the next thing I'll have to do, I'll just wait a little, it will pop up something for me here. So, if it has been downloaded successfully, this is how it will pop up on your screen. Then, if you haven't created a wallet on MetaMask before, you can go ahead and click on the start. Then, there is a create button and there is an import button import import wallet simply means you have the wallet before and you are in and you have your private or your recovery phrase with you so the import button will give you the ability to enter your uh, recovery phrase so that you will log in into your previous wallet but if you have not done or create a metamask wallet before then you have to click on the create button here now then after all has been said and done you will click 
on the three dot at the top right side of your phone here so that you will see the metamask extension button look at it at the top at the button here now so i'll click on it if i have entered my uh, recovery phrase and i've logged in once i click on the button where we um we just left now once i click on the button it will just bring out an interface for me to log in so it will not bring me here again to get started so um this is how you can interact and also download metamask extension using your kiwi browser so in our next video i'll be showing us the various ways to add the numerous network available on the blockchain and interact with them on one single wallet so you don't need multiple wallets of those network to interact with that very particular um, project so you just need one wallet but there is a way you will add those network to that one wallet so that you'll be able to interact with the various numerous network available on the blockchain so there are a lot of network available now on the blockchain we have the solana um, blockchain we have the um, ethereum smart contract we have the binance smart chain the polygon we have the luna there is a lot of them so how do i interact with it on a single wallet that is what i will be teaching us in our next video so please all my videos have always emphasized they are not financial advice do your diligent research before you invest your money into this any particular project at all or buy any particular coin cryptocurrency is risky the industry is still underregulated and it is highly volatile invest your spare money guys so trade wisely. Bye for now.